What would you do if I told you that the markets aren't random and with the right knowledge and experience, you could actually predict it and more? Well, we will get into that in just a second. But first, we have to understand ICT. So ICT or ICT concepts is really what is driving the markets to move higher or lower because there's an algorithm which reacts from these so-called concepts and that makes the market move. But to really predict it, we need to understand these concepts and how to use them. So I've chosen the three best ICT principles to help you analyze and anticipate the market. To start off, we're going to go over the most advanced concept, so you have to pay attention. Now, one of the reasons why the market moves higher or lower is because of something called market maker models. And market maker models is where we have a buy side of the curve and a sell side of the curve. And on the left side, we have a original consolidation. And within this original consolidation, we typically see a strong draw on quality, such as equal highs, that makes price return to it on the right side of the curve. And the middle point, we see the reversal point, which made price return to the original consolidation. So now we have the ground foundation of the market maker model. So we can take a step forward and look inside these big curves. On the sell side of the curve, there's going to be a lot of bearish fair value gaps, which we call distributions. And on the way down from the original consolidation, price respects a lot of fair value gaps. But typically we see two significant ones, which is called the first stage distribution and the second stage distribution. The first stage distribution is the first Favaldi gap price respects after the original consolidation. Then after the first stage distribution, the second stage distribution comes into play, which is the second Favaldi gap that price respects after the original consolidation. And this is key to know because within these stages of distribution, we're going to see trade entries be offered, but there's a couple of places which are better. And that is where the buy side of the curve and the smart money reversal comes into play. Let's start with the smart money reversal. Now the smart money reversal, or for short SMR, is what we call the reversal point, which means price reached an area where we could see a reversal and that triggers price to target the original consolidation. The concepts which makes the reversal is often a SMT, sweep on liquidity, or a higher time frame for Valdi gap. During the reversal, we also see a smaller S&T sometimes, which gives more confirmation to price reversing. After the reversal, we have to look at something called the low risk buy, which is the first Favaldi gap trade entry offered after the smart money reversal. So when price have created a market structure shift, we would like to see a Favaldi gap within that leg. And a leg is a series of candles that forms a high and a low. So when there is a Favaldi gap, within the first leg after the reversal, it is called the low risk buy. And it could also be a inversion for value gap, but that I won't go in details with. The reason it is called low risk buy is because there's a low risk and high reward, as your stop loss is going to be at the reversal, which is very close to your entry price. Then your target is going to be at the original consolidation, which is very far away from your entry, making a high risk reward ratio. Now on the buy side of the curve, we see something called accumulation stages, which is basically the same as distribution on the sell side of the curve, just on the buy side of the curve, meaning for all the gaps are offered. And I would personally rather want to take trade entries on the buy side of the curve than on the sell side of the curve, but both curves are going to form good trade entries. The one on the left always targets the reversal point, and the one on the right always targets the original consolidation. Also, another very important thing to know is the amount of stages on both sides are equal. So that is the market maker model simplified. And this occurs almost on a daily basis, meaning it plays a huge part in price movement. Now for the market maker model short example, we're going to start off with the original consolidation. So if we look right here, this isn't really the most perfect original consolidation. As we can see, we don't really have any significant draw on liquidity, such as equal highs, low resistance liquidity, that makes price really wants to go here. But that's where I do have to remind you that not every market maker model is going to be perfect when you look at it in the charts. There is always going to be something a little bit off in most cases. Now, if we move down here, to the smart money reversal or the reversal point, we can see if we look more over to the left, the price swept a lot of sell side liquidity or these three significant lows, which was one of the reversal factors. But there's also another one, which was 
this Fibonacci gap right here, or there are several Fibonacci gaps within here that also support a price in moving higher. So if we zoom in again, we can see that price after creating the smart money reversal, created a market structure shift. And we wanted to see a market structure shift because after that, we could look for the low risk buy, which was the first of a wealthy gap after the smart money reversal. And this yellow rectangle is the low risk buy. As we can see, it occurred right after the market structure shift, price came down and made a retracement and then started to move higher again. And if we also look closer here, we can see that we have the first stage accumulation, which is the first Vivaldi gap after the low risk buy or the first significant Vivaldi gap. We can see price utilize that Vivaldi gap to then push price higher. And I've marked this high out as an easy target because this high right here or every high on the sell side of the curve is going to be low resistance liquidity, meaning price has really easy targeting these highs after creating the reversal point. So this is a very easy target right here. Now, if we move further up, we can see we have our second significant Fibonacci gap, which is the second stage accumulation. And this second stage accumulation price utilized the Fibonacci gap to push price higher. We can see that price reached the easy targets up here, which is low resistance liquidity, and price also reached the original consolidation. So that's pretty much the end of this market maker buy model. So this was the market maker model simplified, and this occurs almost on a daily basis, meaning it plays a huge part in price movement. Now, the second concept is something that ICT uses almost every time he's on the charts, and it's called previous days high and previous days low, which we can find by going on the daily time frame, then looking at the previous date and see what it did. If it closed below previous days low, then previous days low for next day becomes the draw on liquidity. But if price fails to close below previous days low, then previous days high becomes a draw on liquidity for the next day. And if price doesn't reach any point, then we just have to look at the lower time frame. Now, if we were to look at a chart example, we will notice that this green candle has a high and a low. And the high is the previous day's high and the low is the previous day's low. And we can see that price fails to close above the previous day's high with the body and it closed beneath the previous day's low. And when price closes beneath the previous day's low, then previous day's low for the next day becomes to draw on liquidity. We can see price reaches the previous day's low, but fails to close beneath it with the body. And that means the previous day's high for the next day is to draw on liquidity. We can see price reached the previous day's high, fails to close above it, then that means the previous day's low for the next day becomes a draw on liquidity. And we can finally see the price also created equal lows, which is a very strong draw on liquidity. So price closed beneath the two previous day's lows. So when we know the bias on the daily time frame, we also have to know it on all the other time frames, as then we have the best possible bias as we can get. And this isn't very difficult. We just have to go down a time frame from the one which we are currently on. So if we're on the daily time frame, then we move down to the four hour time frame. Then from the four hour time frame to the one hour, and that continues until we are all the way down to the 15 minute time frame, or just the one which you are trading on. Starting with the daily time frame. So we know that price wants to target the previous day's low and the equal lows because price fails to close above the previous day's high. So now that we have the daily bias, we would then want to move down on the four hour time frame. On the 4-hour time frame, we can see that price swept buy side liquidity and it also moved up into a significant fair value gap. So it would make sense for price to move lower, reaching the equal lows down here. We can also see on the 1-hour time frame that price pretty much failed to make a retracement or move higher up to this buy side liquidity as we can see from this little small retracement here and instead closed beneath the Favaldi gap which we made on that retracement and now it's slowly starting to move lower again reaching the equal lows all the way down here. If we were to go all the way down to the 15 minute time frame, we can see that we still have those equal lows, but price just reached those equal lows within the ASIN session. So if you were to trade the New York AM session, there wouldn't really be a trade opportunity targeting the equal lows, but we still had the bias on our side. As we can see, price turned out to be pretty bearish. Thank you so much guys for watching. And if you want to become a better trader, I recommend getting yourself a trading routine. 
And if you don't already have one, I've built one for you in this video right here.